You see how the lighting's actually good in here? You know, or at least a little bit better now? You want to know why? That's why. Yeah, this was broken for like four months and I finally got it fixed. So now it looks good. So, on with the video. What's up, everybody? I'm Numbers. And we've made quite a few dishes on here. We made some blah and some bleh and bleh and bleh. But today is we're going to make something, a category of stuff that we haven't made before. And that's desserts. Everyone, every once in a while, gets a sweet tooth. So, what what do you do when you need uh, when you need uh, something to sweet to eat? But uh, say you're also like on a diet, you know, a diet uh, like get off. Well, you make things that are get off friendly, uh, such as these brownies. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. There's only got like 1.2 carbs per serving or some crap like that, and a lot of fat in it. Which makes it very, makes it very ketogenic friendly. So, let's go ahead and start. First things first. Turn your oven to 350 degrees and let it preheat. Okay, now that we've done that, let me show you all the ingredients you will need for this recipe. Almond flour, salt, chocolate chips, cocoa powder, baking powder, vanilla extract, half a cup of butter, sweetener, uh, we're using sucralose, the recipe actually calls for a sweetener called like swerve, 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 or something like that, swerve, or something like that, but um, it's super expensive, it's like seven dollars to make this once or some crap like that, and that's really expensive. I need my money for V-Bucks. And eggs. It's the other thing you're gonna need. Eggs. We need eggs for everything. I don't think there's been a single recipe, other than the coffee, I guess, that we haven't used eggs in. Eggs are so diverse. You're also gonna need a few utensils. You're gonna need a big bowl, a smaller bowl, and a... The recipe actually calls for an 8x8 pan, but this is like an 8x... 12 or something like that. So my brownies are actually going to be a little bit thinner than they're supposed to be. But I have already made this before and it turned out great. So, you know, whatever. Then you'll need a half teaspoon, a quarter cup, and a third cup. Now I got to wash that one. Wash the stuff. Don't get dirty. Don't get dirty. Now I gotta wash it again. Okay, I'm not going to flame dry it this time. I'm just going to dry it like a normal human being. And you'll also need something to mix it with. Alright, on with the cooking. Alright, first things first. Let's uh, get this butter. We gotta melt, melt the butter. We gotta melt the butter. So that's what the bowl, that's the only thing that this bowl is for, is put that put it in the bowl and actually you know what's good the wife had this idea you take the you take the sleeve and you go ahead and butter the pan and I was like holy crap that's genius it's efficiently buttered put this in the microwave for about 45 seconds depending on your microwave now let's get the other ingredients almond flour we need a fourth of a cup I don't know why I keep on I keep on thinking that it's supposed to be a third of a cup, the fourth of a cup, but that's why I always think. Bah! Half a teaspoon of baking pow baking powder, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and uh, and cut down the side. Vanilla extract actually doesn't taste that good, but I mean, for most people, probably. I think it tastes pretty good. But I grew up drinking, if I wanted a, a, a can't say the T word, I'll put it down here, because my dog will want something. But if I wanted something, my mom would make me a sugary uh, milk and vanilla drink. And it was really great. 
How's that butter? Is it melted? It looks melted enough. Oh, it's melted enough. Butter right there. A quarter teaspoon of salt, which is really just like a pinch. Like, like that's, like that's, that's probably enough. That's barely anything, but that's, it's baking, okay? You need a little bit of salt and everything. Uh, two thirds cups of sweetener, or at least two cups equivalent, or uh, two thirds cup of sugar equivalent. So, Splenda or sucralose, it, uh, in this low of quantity measures the same, apparently, it measures the same as sugar. Maybe I should make it with sugar and see, like, if it really makes any kind of difference. A third of a cup of cocoa powder. And then mix that all together real quick. This recipe also calls for a packet, like nine grams of gelatin, which is like a half a tablespoon or something like that. Uh, but I ran out and honestly, I don't really see what it does for the recipe. So um, if these turn out horrible, uh, that's probably why. Has nothing to do with the fact that I'm making them. It has everything to do with the fact that I didn't use gelatin and uh, like a quarter cup of water. That's what it is, not the fact that I suck at cooking. Three eggs! Wah! Okay, well, I mean, it worked. Okay, well, why are they cracking on top? Am I hitting the top? <laughs> guess I'm, I guess I'm hitting the top or something. Wah! Three eggos! Stir, uh, make sure the yolks get broken. The last time I made it, the yolks didn't get broken very much. And then the butter. Delicious butter. Everybody loves butter. Butter make everything good. Sound like Paula Dean now. Just put some butter in it. Just put some butter. I'm gonna put some butter in it. I think that's what Paula Dean sounds like. That's what Paula Dean sounds like. Stir it up. It looks really gross when you're stirring it up. I never really noticed how disgusting it looks, but it looks really disgusting. We the whole bowl is spinning. Hopefully I don't mess this up and uh, it falls on the ground. Oh, I should probably mention too, um, this recipe is not my own. It is a recipe from a site called All Day I Dream About Food, and I'll leave a link in the description. I'm altering it slightly, for instance, like I said, I'm not using the gelatin, and uh, I need to also mention that the, the chocolate chips are optional, but I like chocolate chips. Who, do, who wouldn't want chocolate chips in, um, in your brownies? These are, um, these are extra dark chocolate. Now, let's see, uh, 30 pieces, which, is, which I don't even, we don't even get that many, is five carbs. <laughs> Uh, uh, spread across the whole dang thing, so I don't think it adds enough to really matter. I think these are still pretty get off friendly. All right, now a third of a cup of. Uh, oh gosh, I get so bur uh, burpy when I do these. A third of a cup of these. In fact, you know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna count them. I guess when I do this. Maybe I do use a lot more than 30. Let's see, 10, 11, 12. Okay, well, it's safe to say I probably use 60, but still, it's probably pretty still uh, keto-friendly. So, it it's close enough. Stir those in, please. Do it, because I asked you to. All right, that, that's, that's stirred enough. Get your pan, and then pour in the mixture. Yo, I'm holding this towards the camera so like y'all can see, but uh, I probably shouldn't because now I can't see. I think I'm gonna need something to get it out. Here's a, this is a rice cooker, rice getter outer thing. But you know, uh, my little silicone spatula is, um, is dirty and I don't want to clean it right now. So, uh, All right, now, okay, now you just kind of spread, spread it out really good. And there's a little tip, apparently. You can just tap it, 
but it never works for me. It never works for me. It's supposed to like flatten it and make it, you know, flat. <laughs> but this doesn't. It doesn't work for me. Ah, oh, whatever. Now you're even. Now your oven, not your even, should be preheat. That that feels hot. That that definitely feels hot. And put it in for about 30 minutes. Let me say a uh, uh, note. Um, the recipe says only like 15 to 20 minutes. But when we did that, they came out all bleh and all liquidy and not as good. And we increased the time to 30 minutes and they came out just fine. So, and in fact, better. So, uh, yeah, do that. Unless this turns out really awfully because I didn't add the gelatin. In which case, don't do that. You'll fi we'll find out here in a minute, won't we? Mm, raw eggs. Um, apparently you can get sick from eating raw eggs, so maybe don't do that. But, you know, whatever. While you're waiting for your brownies to cook, you might as well um, not be a disgusting slob like me and uh, clean your uh, kitchen counter and everything so that way it's not disgusting and blah, 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 blah. Other than that, there's nothing really else to do. Uh, so I'll see y'all in about uh, 28 minutes. 998, 999. One thousand, and they're done. Now it's time to get these out of the oven. Oh, that's hot! Woo. Yeah, I hate it when you you first open the oven, you just get that wave of heat. It's absolutely awful. Get these out and close that up, and turn your oven off, and then take them and. Okay, everyone, there they are. Look, they're right there. They're brownies. Okay, and wait for them to cool, and trust me, they're del Well, okay, actually, don't trust me yet. Wait until I actually try them, because um, I didn't use the gelatin, so it could be absolutely awful, but um, uh, I think they'll probably be good. The last few times I've made them, they were delicious, so... Uh, you know what, let's just go ahead and try Go ahead and do this little number. I'm bad at cutting straight, like, okay, they're, they're already uneven. I mean, good job, me. I'm just so fantastic at this. Well, see, that's not even 16, that's 12, but I mean, that's probably close enough. I would guess. Let's get the sides right here. And you know what? Uh, let's see if I can uh, let's uh, uh, see if I can get one out. Spatula! <laughs> let's let's try for okay. They're it's because they're hot. What am I doing? I shouldn't do. You know what? No. Let's just get a little. Let's get a little duber bopper right here. And just. Hot! It's, it's really hot. It's it's okay. Got got a little duber bopper. Let's. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. So yeah, all you have to do now is let them cool for about twenty or thirty minutes, and then you can get B-roll shots for your stupid YouTube videos that you're making. Anyways, everyone, that's how you make some delicious keto brownies. They're absolutely delicious. They're amazing. They, you can't even really tell the difference, you know, between this and like a regular brownie. Uh, and the best part about it is that you're making it at home. So like, you know, you get that cool experience. You get to feel prideful that you made something delicious. But yeah, that's all I have for today. Uh, thank you for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and hit that bell button, and blah, 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 blah. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye!